This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I extract models contained in an IMM brush? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a PolyMesh 3D star here loaded in. And the question is referring to extracting meshes from an IMM brush. So let's go over here to the brush palette over here and just open that up. I'm just going to select the IMM Model Kits brush. Now an IMM brush is a insert multi-mesh brush. So what that means, if you press M on your keyboard, you're going to get a list of all the parts that this brush contains. So the question is asking how to go by taking one of these parts and extracting it to a new subtool. So let's come through here and select one of these. So I'm going to select this hold six insert mesh. And now I'm going to navigate over to the tool palette over here. I'm going to open up geometry. I'm going to go down to modify topology and open that up. And in here you have a button called create mesh from brush. What this is going to do, it's going to take whatever you have in your current subtool, and it's going to look at the insert mesh brush you have selected. And when you click this, it's going to take that part and make it subtool. So if I come over here with that one insert mesh selected and click mesh from brush, you can see that poly mesh 3D star has been replaced and now I have this insert mesh object. So to do that again, I'm just gonna pen in a, another poly mesh 3D here, select that one. I'm gonna press M on my keyboard to bring up that insert mesh menu there. I'm gonna select another one of these, so say this circular one right here. Go back to the geometry tab here and do mesh from brush. And now I have that part as a new subtool. So you can use this to extract any insert mesh brushes. Now this also works with curve brushes. So if I go back to my brush menu over here, let's go and select the IMM curve brush here. I'm going to press M on my keyboard to bring up that menu. And I'm going to select Vine 1 of 4. I'm going to duplicate the subtool this time. So I have a new one. And then I'm going to go to the geometry tab again, go to mesh from brush. Now if I turn on solo, you'll see I now have that insert mesh curve brush that was also a triparts brush as a new subtool. So this is really handy in looking to see how different insert mesh brushes were made and also modifying them to say fit what you need them to do. So this one right here is that nice curve brush, but let's say I wanted like bigger through here or thinner, I can now modify this and then go back to the brush palette up here and create a new insert mesh brush from that part. So just to recap, take whatever IMM brush or IMM curve brush you have, select which part you want by clicking M and then selecting that part, then select a subtool and then go mesh from brush and it will replace that subtool with that part from that IMM brush. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.